up guys, Jackson here with Toasty DIY and today is part two of going to pick up the Dodson Roadster 2000. We're on our way right now to go pick up a car dolly. I actually used to have one, but it got stolen, fun fact. All right, we got the U-Haul dolly. It's a little loud next to the highway, but man, that was heavy. My back's already blown out for the day, but let's go ahead and uh, get on the road. All right, so we're ready to get on the road, but we, we had to get a drink first. Now we're ready. I'll tell you what, this car behind me is just riding my butt. <laughs> but we just got it picked up and everything went actually surprisingly well. Normally it's not fun getting cars onto a car dolly, especially when they don't run and drive. So now we got about a 50 minute drive. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have to take it to work for now. Uh, sadly, I gotta, I gotta go work at PC Bros. So um, I'm gonna have to take it there. And then uh, once I get off around four, I'll go ahead and get it home, bring the dolly back, pressure wash it in the video too. Like I'm gonna go through with degreaser and just fully ASMR style pressure wash this thing, make it look as good as it can, get all the grease and dirt and years of it sitting off, and we're gonna kinda see what we're left with. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the car is now at my house. I just haven't really had the time, but today on this nice hot, I believe 100 degree heat index weather, I get to finally work on it. I'm basically gonna kinda go through everything that we got, all the parts and everything, and then I'm gonna fully pressure wash and degrease the car. As far as how it comes with the car, uh, we got these very nice bucket seats. I believe that they're factory seats. Uh, this right here would be for your RPM or speedometer. It's basically a cable driven. At least this is my guess, is that this go goes in here. I don't know why it's not fitting. It looks like it could be a little bent maybe. That kind of makes sense to me because this is how you jacked up these cars to do like tire replacements on the side of the road. So yeah, that's that's my, uh, my two cents. What do you guys think? Is that what it's for? Five speed shift plate with the boot. It's a very rough shape. It is metal at least, so I think it's probably savable. I just don't exactly know what the best course of action or something like that would be. Uh, some random odds and ends. We have some chrome. Uh, this looks like door trim, like the inside of door trim or the step seal. Um, this, I really think is new. I think this is all new rubber because it just there's no dry rotting, so I highly doubt that it's used. And then over here we have our top, uh, which is obviously in very rough shape, but the actual frame is there, everything's there, it's straight, lines up well. And then yeah, the only other things we really have are just the hood part of the air filter box. It's missing the, the outside, uh, basically you'd have a filter cartridge that's oval and then a metal plate that goes over it. I didn't see that anywhere, so I'm assuming it's missing, but I honestly think I have one. As far as the car goes, I'll give you guys a little before, I'll go ahead and walk around it. So I covered up, uh, as much as I could on the engine as far as ports goes. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not even incredibly worried about getting water in it right now. Uh, I'm not even really too, I mean, even these, they're just absolutely gross and they're gonna need to be rebuilt anyway. So I'm not really too concerned with getting water uh, anywhere just because uh, I, the whole car is, I mean, it's, it's in pretty disrepair. I mean, it's pretty much in need of total restoration. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just fully clean this thing. Uh, we did get these little um, markers right here. So those are there and working and everything. It has American uh, racing slot, I guess you call them slot mags or something like that on it, which is really cool. They're like, uh, looks like aluminum maybe. Guys, let's go ahead and just start pressure washing this thing. I'm excited to see, I don't think it's gonna look that much different, but I'm just excited to see kind of what, um, you know, more things we find hidden. We get some of the grease off this thing, so it's a little like, gross to touch.
we got it as clean as it could get right now. And one thing I did find uh, kind of cool is you can really see what I assume is the factory paint color, which is almost like this uh, like light sky blue. And you can even see it on some of the parts here. So I, I would go out on a limb to say it's probably the factory color just because it's on like everything. So someone at some point painted the car kind of like a, a, basically just a black on the outside. Yeah, looking pretty good. Uh, the only other thing I, I cleaned off was the seats. And yeah, these things are in great shape. I mean, these are like good enough to where, you know, if I got the car just running and driving and did the floor pans and a simple uh, paint job, honestly, I'd probably just throw the seats back in as is. Obviously, the car definitely needs a lot of body work. Um, panels aren't terrible, but you know, we got some, some pitting and, and some small rust spots that I honestly don't know what direction I'm gonna go with yet. Cause I mean, it's very solid in a lot of spots. It really just almost needs, um, you know, I guess you can almost just say some bondo work in spots. Um, Cause I don't really think I'm planning on going like on a crazy rotisserie, you know, body off frame restoration. I think I'm more of going for a, let's get this thing running and driving with that five speed and that U20. And let's just make it to where it's safe. Um, looks good, but I'm not sinking, you know, $100,000 into full restoration that I would never get back out of this car. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, make sure you guys stay tuned. I mean, this is only part two, and I'm hoping to get a lot of stuff done to this car. I don't know if I'm going to exactly film, like, the whole entire process, but at the least, I'll definitely film updates for you guys. See you all in the next one. Peace out.